my today's lesson is about growth and development. The objective of this lesson include defining growth and development, uh, principles of growth and development, mentioning types of growth and development, and also identify the stages of development uh, based on age and also growth assessment. Uh, to start from definition of growth and development, growth refers to an increase in physical size of the whole body or any of its parts and it's simply a quantitative changes in the child's body and it is measured in kilogram, pounds, meters and inches. Whereas development is uh, a progressive increase in skill and the capacity of function and it is a qualitative changes in the child's functioning and it is measured through observation. Uh, even though every child grows and develops at their own speed at, and by their own pace, there is a certain principle that works for every child. Uh, those includes growth is a continuous process and it proceeds cephalocaudally and it depends on maturation and the learning and also it proceeds from general to specific and it proceeds from simple to more complex activities and unique individual rates of growth and development but the sequence is the same. So rate of growth is more important than the actual number. Uh, overall, when we see the growth pattern, growth progresses from proximal to distal and also from cephalic to caudal. Uh, the cephalocaudal principle says that development progresses from top to bottom and the proximal distal principle says that development progresses from the center of the body outward. The orthogenetic principle says that development proceeds from simple to uh, complex act also. Uh, when we see determinants of growth and the development, there are different conditions that affect this growth and the development. From this, biologic influences are there. Biologic influences include genetic conditions, intelligence, pre and postnatal conditions, gender, hormonal influence, and the child's temperament. Uh, overall, girls tend to learn to walk, speak, and acquire spinal control earlier than boys. Uh, the other uh, influences comes from physiologic factors. Physiologic factors include bonding and attachment uh, between the child and the family and also social and environmental factors affect growth and development such as family conditions, order of births, handicaps, uh, presence and absence of handicaps like deafness, blindness and other illnesses and also mothering and environmental conditions. Uh, when we see periods of growth and development, Human development starts from uh, embryonic age. Embryonic age is from uh, fertilization up to 8 weeks. And the fetus is from 9 weeks to birth. And the neonatal age is from birth to 28 weeks. And infant is uh, between birth to 12 months. Whereas toddler is from 1 to 3 years. Preschool is from 3 to 5 years. And the school age is from 6 to 8 years. And adolescence is from 10 to 18 years. Uh, when we see types of growth and the development, uh, types of growth and development includes physical growth, which includes height, weight, head and the chest circumference, and physiological growth, such as uh, vital signs. And when we see types of development, uh, development includes motor development, cognitive development, emotional and uh, social developments. So, growth includes physical growth and the physiological growth, whereas development includes motor, cognitive, emotional and the social development. To make it easier and age appropriate, uh, let us start discussing about growth and development from 0 to 2 months of age. Uh, at this age, physical growth uh, includes at birth, the average birth weight is said to be uh, around 3.25 to 3.5 kg, and average length is around 50 cm, and average head circumference is 35 cm. Weight might initially decrease 10% below birth uh, during the first week. Uh, because of uh, increased excretion of extracellular fluid, which is uh, abundant in amount during intrauterine period by uh, urinary uh, passage, and infants regain or exceed birth weight by two weeks of age, and they should grow at approximately 30 grams per day during the first months, and this is the period of fastest postnatal growth ever. When we see physiological growth starting from birth, the prime need of the newborn is breathing, so respiration starts to occur. And the pulmonary vascular distance falls and the peripheral vascular distance increases starting from birth. And the existing right to left shunt reverses. And the transition from fetal to adult type of circulation occurs. And the normal heart rate is between 120 to 160 uh, beat per minute during the first months of life. And at birth, they have high hemoglobin level, which ranges up to 90 grams per year because uh, 
the site of retropoiesis is everywhere during the interuterine period. Uh, then after delivery, it changes to more uh, flat bones. Uh, flat bones with uh, in their bone marrow and the, the life of RBC is short at birth and high leukocyte count is there uh, during delivery. Regarding neurodevelopment at the uh, first two months of life, uh, on gross motor, they bend the spark when held in sitting position and momentary tension of neck muscle occur at ventral suspension and uh, momentarily they hold the chin of coach at prone position and uh, they have uh, almost complete head lag at, uh, when we pull them to sit. And the movements are largely uncontrolled except in eye gaze and head turning and also sucking. And the fine motor is not developed at this age. Uh, regarding language and the social development, they cry, they protrude tongues, hearing is well developed and prefers high pitched sounds. They are near sighted uh, during the first two months of life with focal lengths of 20 to 30 centimeters, which is a distance from uh, the mother's breast to that of her face and the spontaneous smiles is there. Uh, regarding cognitive and the behavioral development, they regard this on face uh, at uh, two months. Uh, when we see when primitive reflexes of newborn disappears, moral reflex disappear by the age of three to four months and the starter reflex uh, disappear by the age of three months and grasp reflex or palmar grasp disappear by the age of four months whereas plantar grasp disappear at the age of uh, seven months. Uh, when we see growth and the development from 2 months to 12 months of life, uh, to start from physical growth, uh, birth weight doubles by 5 months and it triples by 11 to 12 months. And to estimate the average weight of our baby at uh, this age, uh, from 3 to 12 months of age, uh, we can uh, easily estimate by adding 9 to the age of the child in months and uh, dividing by 2. And the length increases. Uh, by 25 centimeter during the first year of life so they are 75 centimeter at 12 months uh, averagely and head circumference increases by 12 centimeter in the first year uh, it increases 2 centimeter per month during the first two months 1 centimeter per month during the first uh, the second three to six months then 0 0.5 centimeter from 6 to 12 months of age so overall the uh, head circumference increases 12 centimeter in the first year uh, the other is about dentition. Dentition starts at the age of 5 to 6 months and uh, to estimate the average uh, number of dentition. Uh, starting at the age of 4 months, uh, 4 teeth raptis every 4 months till they have 20 milk teeth. Till 20 milk teeth is achieved at the age of 3 months. Uh, regarding motor development, at 2 months, they hold heads erect in mid position. They turn from side to back and uh, at 3 months, they hold heads erect and steady, they open or close hands loosely, and they hold objects put in their hands. And at four months, they sit with adequate support, and they roll over from front to back, and they hold head erect and steady while in sitting position, and they bring heads together in midline and they place with fingers, and they grasp objects with both hands. Uh, at five months, balance head well when sitting, and they sit with slight support, they pull feet up to mouse when supine. They grasp object with wall hand and hold one object while looking at another. At six months, they sit alone briefly and then turn completely over from abdomen to abdomen, from back to front, front to back, and they lift chest and upper abdomen when prone and they hold uh, their own bottle. At seven months, they sit alone, they hold the cup and they imitate simple acts of others. And at eight months, they sit alone steadily, they drink from cup with a substance, and they eat fin uh, finger food that can be held in one hand. At nine months, they rise to sitting position alone, they crawl, and they hold one bottle with good hand-mouth coordination. And at ten months, they creep well, using hands and the legs, they walk but with help, they bring the hands together. And at 11 months, they walk holding on furniture, they stand erect with minimal support. And at 12 months, they stand alone for variable lengths of time. They sit down from standing position alone. They walk in few steps with help or alone. And they pick up small bits of food and transfer them to uh, their mouths. Regarding fine development, at 6 to 7 months, they transfer objects from one hand to the other. 
and at around 9 to 10 months pincer grasp develop regarding language development during infancy at 2 to 6 months they laughs and they squeals at around 8 to 9 months they bubbles and they say mama and the dad uh, as any specific sound and at 10 to 12 months they say mama and the dad specifically uh, regarding social development baby le babies learn uh, that crying brings attention and the infant smiles in response to smile of others and at seven months they start to show stranger anxiety and they respond socially to his name so at around uh, seven to uh, 11 months of age stranger anxiety is there so evaluation of such child at the clinic is so difficult uh, when we see growth and development during toddler or from one to three years during this period growth slows considerably and when we see their physical development to estimate their weight uh, for a child between one to six years we can estimate their weight by multiplying by two plus eight or age in years of the child times two plus eight and uh, we can estimate their height by age in years times five plus 18 centimeter and uh, during this time starting from two months up to one year they increase by one centimeter per month and head circumference increases 10 centimeter from one year till adulthood and head circumference increases two centimeter from one to two years of age uh, when we see neurodevelopmental growth of uh, toddlers or from one to three years uh, at 15 months they walk alone they creep upstairs and they have, uh, assume standing position without falling and at 18 months they run stiffly they walk upstairs with one hand held and at 24 months they run well walks up and down the stairs one step at a time and they, they jumps uh, when we see fine motor developments of infants at 15 months they hold the cup with all fingers grasped around it and they script swell and at 18 months they hold the cup with both hands they transfer object hand to hand at will and at 24 months they can hold a crown and make a vertical strokes they turn the page of book and they build a tower of six blocks and uh, when we see their cognitive or uh, adaptive development at 15 months they make tower of three cubes at 18 months they make tower of four cubes imitate scribbling and they imitate the vertical stroke and at 24 months they make tower of seven cubes scribbles in circular pattern and imitates horizontal uh, stroke uh, when we see social development of uh, infants at 15 months they hug parents and at 18 months they try to feed uh, themselves and at 24 months handle a spoon wheel and helps to undress when we see language development of infants at 15 months they follow simple commands they may name a familiar object responds to name and at 18 months uh, averagely they know 10 words they name pictures and identifies one or more parts of their body and at 24 months they put two words together at preschool age uh, regarding their physical growth weight increases two kilograms per year and weight gain uh, from two to six years is calculated averagely by uh, multiplying their age by two plus eight and linear growth uh, regarding linear growth height increase by six to seven centimeter per year and the brain growth decreases and head circumference increase by one two centimeter per year and dental development uh, all 20 primary or milk is adapted by the age of three years when we see neuro developments of preschool age at 13 months they go upstairs with alternating feet and at three years the right tricycle stands momentarily on one feet and at four years the hopes on one foot throws ball overhand and uses scissors to cut out pictures and they climbs uh, well at five years and they skips and regarding the fine motor at three years they copy circle and uh, the right tricycle and at four years they copy square uh, when we see uh, social and the language development of uh, preschool age language development is rapid during this age and at uh, around uh, five years they know around 2000 words averagely and they can form three word sentences uh, when we see cognitive development of preschool age they build a tower of 10 cubes copy circle and emitted cross as three years handedness is established by the age of three years and the ball and the bladder control starts uh, around three years of age and they know their gender and age by age of three years and the gender role by the age of uh, four years and they try, try to tell three 
copy cross and square at the edge of four here and they draw a triangle from uh, copy at the edge of five here the next is growth and the development during school age or from six to ten years and uh, as this age they are referred to as middle childhood or latency and self-esteem becomes a central issue here and they able to validate themselves they perceive others evaluation of them and uh, lymphoid tissue hypertrophy occurs and the snoring may occur at this age uh, more frequently than at other age. And muscular strengths, coordination and the stamina increases progressively. Sexual organs remain physically mature but interest is in gender differences and the sexual behavior become active and increase progressively until puberty. Uh, when we see the physical growth of school age, uh, weight gain is around 3 to 3.5 uh, kg per year. And we can estimate their weight by multiplying their age by 7 minus 5 divided by 2. And uh, at this age, height increases by 6 cm per year, and head circumference increases by 2 to centi uh, 3 cm throughout this period. And uh, at this age, dental, regarding dental development, loss of uh, milk teeth starts by 6 years, and first molar or 6 year molar raptus, which is the first permanent teeth, and the replacement with uh, adult teeth occurs at rate of 4 per year for the next 5 years. Uh, when we see neurodevelopment of a school age child regarding gross and gross motor, at 6 to 8 years they ride bicycle and uh, on fine motor at 6 years they copy sediment, draw a man with 12 details and at 7 years uh, they draw a man with 16 details and around 10 years they draw a man with many details and as this age, typing skill improves and they start to play musical instruments. At school age, when we see their social and language development, uh, at this age, both receptive language and expressive language increase, and they identify with the same uh, gender parents, adopting them as a role model, and the further separation from the family occurs. Uh, regarding cognitive development of school age, thinking differs qualitatively, changes from pre-operational to concrete logical operation, they apply rules based on observable phenomena and long-term memory becomes established and the selective attention occurs and at six years they read one syllable printed word list and at six years they differentiate morning and afternoon. The other is adolescency. Adolescence is the age group of 10 to 18 years and at this age growth spurt occurs here and puberty occurs early in females. And the sign of puberty in males include uh, testicular enlargement and the enlargement, and they also followed by pubic hair. And in females, the first sign of puberty is uh, pressed bud, and this is followed by pubic hair development. Uh, during puberty, growth part begins earlier in girls, around 10 to 14 years, while uh, in males, it is around 12 to 16 years. And males gain around 7 to 30 kg, while females gain uh, 7 to 25 kg during the whole puberty. And when we see the height development during adolescence, uh, by the age of 13, the adolescent triples his pair's length, and the males gain around 10 to 30 cm in height, and females gain less height than males as they gain 5 to uh, 20 cm, and the growth in, uh, in height cases at 16 years or 17 years in females, whereas it may uh, continue up to 20 years in males. Uh, this is all about what I have, and thank you for listening. Have a nice time.